students. How are you today? I'm so happy that you're here to learn about traditional economies. A traditional economy is when people trade. I have long been interested in economics. I don't know why. It's just one of the things I'm very interested in. So a traditional economy, what is it? You can see in the picture, this young man wants to trade his books for bananas. That's like a traditional economy when people trade together. Let's listen to me read this, please. Can you imagine not using money? Can you imagine getting the things you need without money? Instead of using money, you would trade things to get the things you want. In some parts of the world today, like in some parts of Africa, Asia, the Middle East, and South America, the economy is based on trade. It isn't dependent on money. It might be hard to believe, but for most of human history, people lived without money. People lived in small groups, also known as tribes. There were no stores, debit cards, or fancy restaurants. There were no employers, paychecks, factories, or cities. Life back then was so different from life today. Long ago, all people lived in a traditional economy. All people, even your family, a long, long time ago. People got what they needed either by growing it or raising it themselves and by trading things with other people. For example, a person who had chickens would trade eggs for a blanket. A person who could help sick people would trade his services for a cow. Also, because of people living in small groups, they knew each other. Neighbors had much stronger relationships with each other than then than neighbors do today. Let me read that sentence again. Neighbors had much stronger relationships with each other then, at that time, than neighbors do today. Moreover, in traditional economies, families often specialized in certain kinds of work, which is to say that grandfathers, fathers, and sons all worked in the same line of work. For example, for generations, a family would raise sheep or grow rice. Traditional economies today. There are still people living in traditional economies today. They live in rural areas, far from cities. This is in a rural area, a countryside area. In traditional economies, most families farm, raise animals, and hunt for their own food. They grow rice, wheat, and potatoes. They raise cows and sheep. They hunt for deer or bear. Everyone has food to eat. However, they only grow, raise, and hunt the food that they need for themselves or to trade. There are seldom any leftovers. Also, they live according to the seasons and do specific things each season. For example, in the spring they plant their gardens. In the fall they harvest the food from their gardens. People who live in a traditional economy are connected to the weather and seasons much more than we are today. Also, people in traditional economies usually know how to build shelters, places to live, and a few people know how to make medicine to care for the sick. In traditional economies, people knew people need each other to survive and see value in each person. Because they live in smaller groups, they are more likely to know each other well, too. Read these five traits of a traditional economy. Five traits of a traditional economy. Center around family or tribe. Exists in a hunter-gatherer and nomadic society. Nomadic means you move from one place in the summer to a different place in the winter 
back again in the spring and you keep moving. That's nomadic. Also, a traditional economy relies on trade and barter. Barter is the same as trade, but barter means you're talking about what you're going to want. Traditional economy produces only what you need. Surpluses and leftovers are rare. Finally, they eventually evolve to have some sort of currency for trade. Currency means money. So while you start as a traditional economy, over the years you will eventually, after a while, have money. Today we still trade or barter from time to time instead of using money. We sometimes barter with our neighbors and friends. For example, maybe your friend watches your children for the evening and then you mow his grass the next day. Maybe you play music at your friend's wedding and then she gives you a piece of art in appreciation. This is how the traditional economy is still alive today. Here is a very interesting four minute video about the traditional economy. There are subtitles if you click on closed caption. Also, I got this information from this link. Please look at it if you're interested in learning more about traditional economies. Bye.